What's up, family? Man, I have a lot on my mind. You know, I have a lot on my heart. Um, why me? It ain't fair. You know what I mean? And that's not my mentality. Stay with me. You know what I mean? But that can be our, that can become our mentality so easy. You know what I mean? We could go through things in life and it can become very toxic. You know what I mean? We can take on the wrong perspective and have this victim mentality of why me? It ain't fair. You know what I mean? And it's a trip because um, at the beginning of this year, um, man, my mouth was in a lot of pain, found out that I needed um, two root canals and then go ahead, start having the root canals done and find out that both of those teeth are, um, they're broken up under the gums. And so now I have to go to a surgeon. We've already come out the pocket a lot, uh, just all the other crap, right? And now, um, Last week, my favorite cousin passed away, and today's the day that they're, he's having his homecoming, you know what I mean? And so there's a lot on my mind, you know? And it's a trip because it's so easy for me to take on that victim mentality. You know, it would be so easy for me to take on that victim mentality. It would be so easy for me to take on that, man, shit, fuck. Man, look at the money we done spent on these freaking teeth. And now they're gonna have to pull these freaking teeth. That was just a waste of money. We'll do do. And then my boy's gone. And da da da. It's so easy to become so depressed. So easy to become so overwhelmed. So easy to become so toxic in our thought process. You know what I mean? That's is that easy? You know what I mean? Just to entertain a thought and just allow that thought to spiral out of control. And our whole frequency, our whole vibe, our whole day. Our whole year is ruined because of a thought that becomes a belief. It's a trip how we have that much power and we don't realize that we have that much power. It's a trip how we become such victims of our own freaking thought process. We become a victim of our own belief system. I was doing the coaching last night and I was talking to the young man and I was like, look, you have a choice. It's so easy for us to go down that rabbit hole of depression and negativity and all this other stuff because it's, we believe that stuff for years. We believe that we weren't good enough. We believe that we're stupid, dumb, ugly, fat, da, da, da. It's easy for us to believe negative stuff because we've heard that so much. We've said it to ourselves so much. Man, I'll never be happy. I'll never have peace. I'll never have joy. I'll never get married. I'll never have a boo. I'll never have a queen. I'll never have a king. I'll never have da, da, da. We have, we speak all this negativity over our own freaking lives because we've heard it growing up. We've had other people, quote unquote, confirm how stupid, how ugly, how dumb we are. You know, people we date, people we marry. Oh, you're useless. You're lazy. You're da, da, da. And they speak all this negativity over our lives and it just confirms everything we've already believed. And so we take on this victim mentality of, man, why me? Life's not fair. Why do I have to go through this? Why am I like this? You're like that because you choose to be like that. And that's a hard pill to swallow. Every single one of us, we are the way we are because we choose to be that way. There's no if, ands, buts about it. You stop blaming your mama. Stop blaming your daddy. Stop blaming your ex. Stop blaming your baby daddy, your baby mama, your toxic ass kids and crazy ass aunties and uncles and all them other people. Stop blaming everybody else because you are the way that you are. You have anger issues because you choose to have anger issues. You flip the lid and lid and go off on one. You know what I mean? You do what you do because you choose to do that. You choose to do that. You choose to go down that rabbit hole of doubting yourself, of hating yourself, of not liking yourself, of tearing yourself down. You choose that. You may not even be aware that you're choosing that because you make that choice so much it becomes habitual. It becomes second nature. It's like when you study martial arts, you know what I mean? And somebody throws a punch at you or whatever, a kick at you, you just naturally throw the block. You know what I mean? You just naturally throw throw something to protect yourself, to defend yourself. But you don't even have to think about what you're going to do. It's just natural. 
It's almost instinctual. You know what I mean? You just do this naturally. Somebody say duck or you see something flying at you. You duck, you dodge, you do it naturally. When something happens in your life, you naturally do one or two things. Naturally. You take whatever's happening and it confirms what everything's all Everything in the past, it confirms everything everybody has already told you, how stupid, how ugly, how dumb you are, and blah, 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 blah. It confirms all that, and you believe that. Because you've always believed that. You've always accepted that. And so when things don't go your way, that's natural. You believe that. You embrace that. Things aren't going your way. You can't find a parking spot. You're always late and it's not your fault. It's the train's fault. It's the bus's fault. It's Uber's fault. It's Lyft's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. The lights stay green. There was an accident. Blah, 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 blah. It's always somebody else's fault. Somebody made you late. Somebody made you miss out on the perfect parking spot. Somebody made you miss out on this job opportunity. Somebody made you miss out on this great sale. Somebody made you do it. Whatever it is, it's always somebody else's fault. We have to grow up. We have to understand that, man, we are a product of our own thought process. If your thought process is bad and all you think about is I'm not good enough and I suck and da 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 everything about your life will lead you down the path to make you try to be perfect, try to be good enough, try to be accepted, try to be loved, try to be valued. Because your core belief is I'm not good enough. And because your core belief is I'm not good enough, man, it's easy for you to have that mentality of why me? Life's not fair. Why do I have to be born in this raggedy ass family? Why do I have to have this deficiency and da da and all this other crazy shit? Because your core belief is I'm not good enough. I really don't deserve a king that I have a job and get up and put me up on a pedestal and we will do do. I don't deserve to have a woman that's going to love on me and take care of me in the aspect, not be my fucking mama, not do every fucking thing for me. But man, she's going to meet me halfway. What I bring to the table, she's going to bring some stuff to the table. And we'll be able to put our stuff together, man, and blow some stuff up and make some stuff happen for us. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about taking care of me. Not not this modern day generation crap where, man, I just sit at home all day long playing video games and eat and drink and smoke and do what the hell I want to do. And I'm sending my woman out to work and come home and cook and clean and do everything else. That's some bullshit. And anybody on that is on some bullshit. I said it. That's bullshit. But we have this why me mentality. We have this victim mentality. Man, life's not fair. And for the person that's stuck in that type of relationship where you're doing everything like that, man, that's, that's your fault. You choose to stay there. You choose to stay there. I was talking to this young man last night, and we both had this thing for Star Wars. And we were talking about the scene last night where Luke Skywalker was um, fighting Darth Vader. And Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader chopped off Luke Skywalker's hand and telling him to join him. Man, I'm your father and we'll do do. And Luke Skywalker pretty much said, man, fuck this shit. You know what I mean? I'm never joining the dark side. You know what I mean? I'm never joining your side. You on some bullshit deuces. You know what I mean? And he fell. You know what I mean? And he fell down this hole. And it's a trip because as we're talking about it, <clears throat> I was telling the young man, man, Luke Skywalker didn't understand at that time. Man, he didn't know what was going to happen at the bottom of that. You know what I mean? He just failed. He made a choice. I'm not joining the dark side. I'm not going down this toxic ass fucking pattern. I'm not having these negative thoughts. I'm not doing what do what do whoop. Man, I'm free. Whatever happens, happens. But I'm not joining. I'm not hooking up with your raggedy ass. It's a choice he made. He didn't understand. He didn't know that he was going to be saved at the bottom. He didn't know he was going to land on the thing that he did and somebody was going to swoop up, Princess Leah and them was going to swoop up and say, he didn't know that. But he made a choice, man, I'm not doing this. I'm going this route. And whatever happens this route, it happens. 
Let me see, and I'll explain it to you, man, man, when we take on the mentality that, man, everything is always working out for us, man, it don't matter. I don't have to be perfect. When everything, when I understand everything is always working out for me, man, I can make the best choice that I can and just relax and just like, ah, I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to get everything 100%. Why? Because everything is always working out for me. And because everything's always working out for me, I never lose. Because everything's always working out for me, I'm never a failure. Because everything's always working out for me, man, I'm always winning. I'm always winning. Regardless of my circumstances, regardless of what it looked like, I'm always winning when I believe and I trust that everything is always working out for me. And so like Luke Skywalker's falling down this thing, man, he made a choice. He made a conscious decision. I'm not going negative. I'm not hooking up to the negative, toxic ass. I'm free. And he let himself go. And Princess Leia now swooped up and saved him and rescued him. He didn't know that was going to happen. He just had to trust the force. And that's what we have to do. We have to learn to just let go and just trust the process. I don't have to be in control over every fucking thing. I don't have to know all the fucking answers. I don't have to know the outcome. And we have that mentality of, man, I need to know how this is going to work out. I need to know this. and I need Because you're a control freak. Because you don't believe that everything is always going to work out for you. You don't believe that. And that's why you have to know the end result. Because you can't trust the process. And because we got controlling natures. Because things haven't worked out for us. So now we're trying to dictate how things work out for us. Because we want to be in control. Man, I'm never letting a dude hurt me like that. I'm never letting my family get close to me again. I'm never letting them mistreat me. I'm never letting a woman do me this way. I'm never letting a job do me this way. I'm never going to. We have all these issues. And because we don't resolve them, we take on this victim mentality. And because we have this victim mentality, now I manifest my victim mentality through my control nature. You know what I mean? I, I have this controlling nature. And that controlling nature comes from being a victim. It's crazy how when you stop and you really sit there and process everything, you see how everything is connected. You don't like you. You don't like your life. You hate you. And it's all connected to a core belief. Whatever that belief is. You're not good enough. You believe you're ugly. And that feeds the I'm not good enough. You believe you're fat and I'm stupid. And did it. Again, it goes back to I'm not good enough. It always goes back to, I'm not good enough. My daddy didn't accept me. My mama didn't accept me. And I'm standing in this relationship because I'm not good enough. I got this person abusing me, mistreating me, dogging me out. And I stay here because my core belief is, I'm not good enough. I jump in this relationship. I know this person is married and what to do. And I can only see them a certain amount of time. But I have a core belief that I'm not good enough. And so I settle for this toxic ass relationship. It's fun and we're having a blast. He's taking me out. He's spending money on me. He's doing all this stuff for me. And what to do. But the core belief is I'm not good enough to have a man like this of my own. So I got to take somebody else's stuff. I'm not good enough to have a woman that look like this and treat me this way. So I got to take somebody else's. Because it always goes back to our core belief. I'm not good enough. Why me? Shit ain't fair. It ain't fair. Why do I have to go through all of this? Why is this my lot in life? It's your lot in life because you make the choices you make. And that's a hard pill to swallow. I remember a man being mad at God because 
the shit that I went through as a kid. You know what I mean? Hating God. Just mad at God at how my life turned out. And God had to remind, he lied to you. You made the choices you did. You made those choices. In every situation, every circumstance, you have a choice. Talking about Luke Skywalker again, he had a choice. It didn't look like he had options. I mean, either join the dark side or die. You know what I mean? That's my options. Fuck it, I might as well join the dark side. I might as well go down this dark path. I might as well hook up with these toxic ass motherfuckers. That's the choice you make. Luke Skywalker chose, fuck it. I don't give a damn what my options are. I'm not going down this dark side. If that costs me my life, then so be it. I don't know what it's going to cost me, but I'm not going down this path. It's the choice he made. And the rest is history. You know what I mean? We see what he turned out to be. We see how powerful he became. But it goes back to that choice. He had a choice. You have choices every day. You wake up and you a negative thought comes to you. Something happens. It don't go your way. And you jump on that path, that pattern of, man, fuck my life. Shit ain't right. Shit ain't fair. Shit ain't do, 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 do. You know what I mean? You jump on that path. And you go down that freaking hole every day. That's the choice you make. I'm not good enough. I'm never going to be happy. I'm never going to find my queen. I'm never going to find my king. I'm never going to find true love. I'm never going to find true happiness. I'm never going to really have peace of mind. I'm never going to understand or have joy. And we get mad at people that have joy. We get mad at people that have peace of mind. Oh, them motherfuckers fake it. They ain't really happy. They ain't got no fucking joy. They just faking the fucking funk. And what do they do? And we talk all this stupid shit not knowing what the fuck is going on. Because we're low-key hating, low-key jealous that they have something that we don't have. We don't understand how the fuck can that person have joy? How the fuck can that person have peace? And instead of trying to understand and get with them and learn some shit from them of how they can have peace in their crazy situations, in their toxic environments, how can they have peace? How can they have, they have joy? We sit back and get mad at them and we hate them and we hate on them because we low-key really believe I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. And that's how they make me feel because they're so happy. They're so in love. Look, at they're really a beautiful couple, but I'll never tell them some of the bitches that. You know what I mean? Because we're mad and jealous and hateful. We're insecure. And so we see their happiness. We see their bliss. We see their joy. We see their love. And it's a trigger to us because we ain't got it. And it's a constant reminder to us, you ain't good enough. You ain't getting it. Nobody thinks that way of you. Nobody's going to think that way of you. Nobody's going to value you like that. Nobody's going to love you like that. Nobody's going to want you like that. Nobody's going to do for you like that. And you believe that at your core. Because you really believe you ain't good enough. I don't care what you say. I don't care all the positive shit you post. At your core, you believe you're not good enough. At your core, you believe you don't deserve it. You want it, but you don't deserve it. You don't believe you deserve it. You want peace, you want joy, you want happiness, but at your core, you don't believe you deserve it. You don't believe you can have it. And you don't believe you can have it because you believe you're not good enough. And so you try to be perfect. You try to be self-righteous and just, man, I got to do everything right. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't. Because if I do this, I'm going to fuck up the relationship. If I do this, I'm going to mess this up. If I do this, I'm going to mess this up. If I, man, fuck. Relax. You know what I mean? Because when you truly believe that everything is always working out for you, man, I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't have to be perfect. And I don't even have to strive to be perfect. I don't even strive to be perfect because I understand 
everything is always working out for me. Everything. So if everything's always working out for me, man, I just try to do the best that I could do. That's all I do. Just try to do the best that I could do. And I trust the process that, man, everything's always working out for me. So if everything's always working out for you, man, there's no right answer or wrong answer. Because it's always working out for me. Even though I don't see it, even though I don't understand it, even though I don't understand how the results are going to come out, I sit back and relax, man. It's all good. It's all good. Everything is always working out for me. And so that eliminates the stress. That eliminates the worry. That eliminates the doubt. That eliminates the fear. That eliminates the anxiousness. Everything is always working out for me. And the truth is, like I was telling you last time, I would say that to myself. And I would write it down in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night time. And I would say it to myself sometimes 50 to 100 times a day. Just constantly telling myself that. Everything is always working out for me. And it's a trip because when I first started telling myself that, man, I felt like a fucking liar. I felt like a fucking hypocrite. Because I didn't believe that. Because I'm looking at my life and everything ain't fucking working out for me. I'm looking at my circumstances and everything ain't fucking working out for me. I'm a fucking hypocrite. I'm a fucking liar. But I kept telling myself that. I kept writing it down. And I realized something. God had to show me something. Elijah, you believed all this negative stuff about yourself your whole life. You didn't understand how toxic you were. You didn't understand how negative you were. And so it's going to take some time for you to rewire your brain and your thought process and your belief system. It's going to take some time. So don't just say, oh, well, everything's always working out for me and expect yourself to believe that overnight or within a week or two. It's going to take some time. Even now, for me, I a negative thought to come to my mind and I look at it and I want to entertain it and I catch myself, oh, no, hell no. no. You know what I mean? Everything's always working out for me. I ain't got the trip about that. I ain't got to fight. I ain't got to argue. I ain't got to manipulate. I ain't got to control. I ain't got to politic. Everything's always working out for me. It's good. And when I do that, I release the issue. I don't have to control the issue. I don't have to control the outcome of the issue because it's all good. Because it's always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. However it works out, man, it works out. Source, God, universe, whatever. Man, you work this out however you got to work it out. You know what I mean? I just got to get in alignment, trust the force. You know what I mean? Trust that it's good. And just sit back and watch it unfold. We have to learn to change and rewire our thought process, our belief system. We believe we're so negative. We believe that everything is bad and what do we do? And that's how our life is manifested. That's what happens. That's what appears in our life. All the negative, toxic stuff we believe. All of those negative, toxic things become our belief system, become our lifestyle. When you flip that and you're positive and you believe that everything is always working out for you and it's all good, and we'll do, man, now what's the results of that? The results of that, man, I have endless amount of peace. Of joy, of happiness. Man, I have, I can sit back in any circumstances, any situation, just ah, relax. Not be stressed out, not be full of worry, not be full of doubt, not be anxiety, tension, or any of that other stuff. Because all that stuff comes from not being good enough. All that stuff comes from that low frequency crap. It's not good and everything is always going bad and blah, blah, blah. That's all low frequency stuff. And so all this stress, suicide, doubt, anger, fear, da, da, da. That's all low frequency crap. That's attached to your thought process. And I've told you guys in the past, your thoughts control your feelings. What you think about controls your feelings, dictates your feelings. And so if you flip that up and say, man, it's all good. Everything is always working out for me. That's a thought. 
that controls your feelings. When you think that and believe that, man, you can sit there and be like, man, I'm good. I don't have to stress. I don't have to be full of fear. I don't have to be full of doubt and anxiety and tension and stress and all this other negative stuff. Because that negative stuff don't coincide with the belief system that everything is always working out for me. The belief system, the feelings attached to everything is always working out for me is peace. It's joy. It's happiness. It's I'm good. I'm good. I don't have to be perfect. I'm good the way that I am. Yes, I want to be better, but I'm good. I'm good. And so many of us, we have this innate belief that we're bad. That we're so fucked up. Man, if I fart wrong, I'm going to hell. Because this thought came to my mind, man, I'm going to hell. Let me say 10 hell marriage to God. Forgive me for having this thought. Da, da, da. All this stupid shit that religious people have fucked us up with. Your thoughts control your feelings. What thoughts do you have? You know what your thoughts are based on your feelings. How do you feel? I could tell you what your thoughts are based on your feelings. They go hand in hand. They're intric intricately connected. You can't have these feelings without these thoughts. Good or bad. You can't have peace, joy, and happiness without the thoughts that are the beliefs and thoughts that bring peace, joy, and happiness. It's really that simple. We just make it complicated because we don't want to understand it. We don't want to work through the process. We don't want to sit there and take the time to understand it all. We don't want to be accountable and responsible for our feelings. We don't want to be accountable and responsible for our thought process and the things we dwell on. We'd much rather be a victim we would much rather sit there and say how life ain't fair and how fucked up everybody else is and how it ain't my fault and blah, 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 blah. It is what it is. Do what you do. You know what I mean? But if you want to grow, if you want to reach your full potential, you have to understand that you are in control of your thoughts, that you need to be in control of your thoughts. By being in control of your thoughts, you being you become in control. Ah, uh, by um, controlling your thoughts, you learn to control your feelings. So many of us were stuck and we're slaves to feeling depressed and anger and anxiety and tension and stress. We're slaves to those feelings because the truth is, we're slaves to those thoughts that bring those feelings. And that's all it is. You're a slave to a thought process. You're a slave to a belief system that says you're not good enough. And you're never gonna get your king. You're never gonna get your queen. You're never gonna get all that you want in life believing that you're not good enough. Man. Thank you guys for being with me. Um, we're still doing the free coaching and counseling session. Um, if you would like a free counseling session, um, mentoring session, or life coach session, whatever, man, just reach out to me at ElijahAmi at gmail.com. Again, that's ElijahAmi at gmail.com. And just give me a brief description of what you're dealing with as far as the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the anger, whatever you're going through. And man, we'll go ahead and get you set up for a free coaching session. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.